Hello everyone. Today I will be showcasing you a demo for Microsoft Dynamics AX and Magento. So we have a demo environment prepared for AX and Magento and we are showing couple of sync features using Apps eConnect agent. So first of all the integration point which I am going to showcase you is customer sync. So customer sync I'll create a new customer from Magento and I'll sync back and forth all the details from Magento to AX. So let's say I'm going to provide the customer details over here the first name and the last name and um, then I'll provide all the required information let's say the email ID and password and the contact details and this customer sync is generally a bi-directional process you can create a new customer from Magento to AX and based on the business need you can also sync the customer details from AX to Magento as well now once I create the customer having the contact information I'll quickly add the address billing and shipping address for this particular customer so let's say I'm going to choose all the required information for it, for this particular customer let's say the company name and then the phone number followed by the street address and all the other mandatory information like city state and zip code so once I'm done with almost giving all the mandatory information for this particular customer I quickly save this customer from Magento Phantom store so we have a demo database company in Microsoft Dynamics AX and this AppC Connect agent works as an integration engine in between these two separate platforms which will get installed on this particular AX server and uh, from this agent we are going to synchronize the data from Magento to this particular demo database company so here is the first integration point which is customer add and I'll trigger the data using manual trigger which is uh, one of our component in apps eConnect so we support two triggers manual and automatic trigger and uh, this manual trigger helps to manually exchange the data in between two platforms and if we use automatic trigger then there is a interval time period which will running on the background and automatically all your data will get pushed back so now I'll quickly open this AX environment and I'll going into the customer section to see whether the customer data has been successfully pushed or not so here I'll quickly type the customer name so here you can find out this customer has been successfully installed and getting synced in Dynamics AX now I'll quickly check all the details like the contact information having the customer data that I provided on the Magento front and store and the address information has been successfully pushed over here now if any extra data or any extra field from Magento side customer wants to map or customer wants to sync with a side with a particular field that we can done and that can be done basically using apps connect agent now coming back to the next integration point which I'm going to showcase you is item so I'll create a new item from Magento backend panel and I'll sync back and forth all the item details from Magento to AX now here item also it's a bi-directional process we can create a new item from Magento to AX having all the required data or having all the required information so first also if you want to sync in the existing items along with the variants from AX to Magento then also in AX product section and master product section you mention all the required information and that can be pushed back through this AppC Connect agent into Magento now here on the Magento backend panel I'll quickly provide the product name so let me quickly provide the product name here and let me quickly give the item code now you can mention the unit price as well and quantity and stock 
right now I'll just keep it blank because I would like to synchronize this talk from X to Magento. Now here weight is a required field itself in AX that's why I provide the weight for this particular item. Now once I provide the category under the content section there are two individual tabs one is long description and another one is short description. So right now I'm just quickly provide the long description for this item and short description for this item. So once I mention all the required data I quickly save this item from Magento. So here in this apps eConnect agent the process would be from Magento to AX direction as we have two separate sync panels. One helps you to push the data from e-commerce to ERP and another helps to push the data from ERP to e-commerce. And once this particular process synchronization has been done, I'll quickly going into the product information management section to check the products. Now there are two uh, section where the product can be pushed one is products and another is release products so under the product section you can check whether the product has been successfully pushed or not and similarly under the release product section which you particularly released from your chosable company just provide the product name or the product code which you want to provide over here and then you can find out that particular product has been synced or not so I'll quickly open this particular item and you can find out the entire item description and the item name, the long shot description and under the sale tab you can find out the sale price as well. Since weight is a required field you can find out under the manage inventory section that what is the neat weight of this particular item. So now based on your requirement if you want to map any other UDFs, um, any other fields in between Magento and X that can also be done. Now next is to manage inventory or to post the stock we need to activate this particular item price and that's why I'm going to activate the item price using this manage cost section and um, here I'm going to choose a version for this particular product and then I just confirm the above section so I quickly close it and this item price has been activated okay next what I'm going to do is that I'm using purchase order section to post the inventory transaction so for that I'll quickly going into the accounts payable section and I'll quickly create a new purchase order so from purchase order section I'll basically provide all the mandatory information like the vendor account and from here to post an inventory I need to choose the site and warehouse as well and once I'm done with having all the information from here I'll quickly save this particular detail and once I save the purchase order details the purchase order lines has been opened or the pop-up has been opened over here so here I need to mention the item number against against which particular item I would like to provide the stock or inventory so here is the item number that I selected from that drop down now I need to give the stock for this particular item let's say the stock is 900 and also if you want you can provide the unit price as well so once you provided the stock over here I just quickly close this above section and I'm just quickly opening this order because the approval status is right now approved but I need to check the status and I need to make sure that the status is confirmed so to do that I quickly going into the you know purchase order so I need to confirm this particular order therefore I just choose this confirmation option and once this has been done I quickly just save it and then I quickly going into the receive section and I need to create a product receipt for it for that I need to provide the product receipt number so here the product receipt number I just mention over here and I click on ok ok so here you can find out that the approval status is confirmed and the status is um, received so now also when you add the inventory 
to check the inventory or the stock has been reflected properly or not you can going into that particular item let's say I'm just opening the item and uh, you can find out in the manage inventory and on hand inventory section that whether the stock amount or the stock has been updated or not so if I click this on hand inventory you can find out that the physical inventory is right now as showing as 900 so now it's time to update the stock from AX to Magento and for that we have a separate integration point and that is inventory update so I quickly click on this inventory update integration point and now I'll quickly going into this particular Magento against this particular item and quickly refresh the page to see that the stock amount has been updated or not so here you can find out that the quantity is updated as 900 and the status has been changed from out of stock to in stock now we have also another integration point available to update any price for this particular item so let's say it is the item and the sales price I already provided as hundred dollar now if you want to update the price if you want to update the price for a certain reason to showcase this on your front end panel then what I am going to do is that I can update this particular product amount from here and then I'll quickly save it from AX release product section so the amount price has been updated from AX and we have got this integration point name known as item price update and using manual trigger I quickly updated the price now let me just quickly refresh the page to see the updated price has been reflected over Magento or not so you can find out over this price section the item price has been updated now it's time to place an order using Magento front-end panel so I quickly type the product SQ or the name of the item and here is the item that I created I'll quickly add this item to cart and um, now I'll quickly go to checkout option to add the freight amount as well now the address has been already added because in the time of registering this customer from Magento front end panel I provided the address including that particular customer contact information now under the shipping method section the tax and freight charges we can map based on the business needs now the flat rate shipping method we have mapped in the time of placing an order for GP for AX and Magento now I quickly place this order from Magento front end store so the order has been placed from Magento store now I need to check that whether this web order has been converted into sales order or not so here is the integration point name known as sales order at I quickly sync this particular integration point and now to check that I'm going into the accounts receivable section and under that particular section I'll quickly open the sales order as well now here I can provide either the customer name or the customer reference number or you can say the order ID so you can see that using the customer name this particular order has been reflected over X to check all the information like the customer logistic information and the customer entire information contact information that has been present over there now under the sales order line option you can find out the item details the quantity and if you provided or mentioned any discount or you want that um, the freight amount you want to see whether it has been perfectly shown or not you can going into the sales option and um, from there you can going into the fret or the charge option okay so here you can find out that what is the shipping charge or what is the freight that you have that has been calculated against this particular order it is the freight and here is the charges value as well now um, the next process which I am going to showcase you is to create a delivery document so to create a delivery document I'm going into the pick and pack section and um, using this packing slip I quickly create the delivery document so 
here you can find out I quickly create the delivery document from here so I placed the delivery or I placed the shipment now to check whether the status has been updated or not what I am going to do is that I quickly refresh this page you can find out that the status is shown as delivered so I created the delivery document now to sync this particular shipment in Magento I'm going to use this shipment upload integration point and to see whether the shipment has been updated or not I'm going into the Magento front-end panel and you can find out that before creating the delivery the status was pending so once I created the delivery document from pending the status has been updated and is processing and you can find out the order shipments as well where the product name the SQ and the shipping address information has been present now if somehow the customer wants to maintain the tracking ID they can track their shipments as well they just need to provide the tracking ID on AX under the tracking ID section and based on that AppC Connect can configure and can sync the tracking details as well so these are couple of sync features that we have built up in the time of synchronizing the integration points in between Magento and Dynamics AX if you have any questions you can directly contact with us AppC Connect thank you